What's up, everybody? Russ with RWGResearch.com here. I got my bear bear with me. Say hello. Hilarious. I'm just going to sit here and see if he'll chill with me. He normally does. You good? Are you good? Look at that. One hand. He just chills. Oh, maybe I'll bring you a little bit closer. Might make the audio better, too. Um. Well, okay. You good? Huh? You good? So, what's up everybody? My name's Russ with RWGResearch.com. Making a video for today, but it, it's a little different. I just want to chit chat with you guys, ask you some questions, give you some of my thoughts, tell you how I'm feeling, talk about life, and yeah, have a good conversation down in the chat uh, area down in the... Uh... Hi, I'm making a video. Can I have some personal time? Oh, sure. Thanks. Love you. <laughs> oh, careful. <laughs> Anyway, tell you guys how things are, but let's have a good conversation down in the chat. Are you okay? Alright. Try not to be a distraction, but I do love holding this bunny. Watch him. He'll just chill. Hilarious to me. Anyway, let's talk about it. So, let's talk about YouTube real quick. You guys know that I've expressed this many a times. I want to make videos that I want to make because it's fun and I like to document what I've done in my life and post it on YouTube. I do like sharing and open sourcing projects and doing stuff, but ultimately it's a documentation of my life's work. That's really what it is currently. And I'm going to keep it that way. So I'm not here to please you. I am here to give you stuff that might be helpful. I am here to have some feedback from you guys to be helpful for me and just share what I'm doing because I actually enjoy that. Um, I love documenting and sharing what I do and I love doing it as a group with people online. It's a lot of fun. Some of my projects recently have been work related. That's going to happen a couple times. Battery's going out in my backup. Anyway, so those things have been happening and uh, my YouTube is still going to be that way. So recently I've been posting videos last year. Kind of wanted to post one every week. I had a lot of backup content, a lot of things uh, that I already had recorded, so I had a lot of like long, drawn-out videos. And I had a cool conversation uh, with a guy the other day on YouTube about my post if I should go live stream. It was last week, I guess. And he left a pretty good comment, and I really enjoyed it. You know, <clears throat> the comment was uh, on the lines of, um, well, I'll just let you go read it if you want, but basically it was a good reminder that what I was doing in the past and how I was doing it and how I was making content is definitely different than I'm doing it now. And that's okay. Um, but it was, it, was a, it was a good reminder that, yeah, I could take more time to make a video and make it more what I want it to be and less because I have to put it up for the weekend. I actually really like a routine schedule, but my life currently has been crazy. So, I will be... Let's finish the YouTube discussion. I will be doing YouTube um, and I'll be posting when I have something I want to share in the manner I want to share it. And the reason I'm expressing it in this manner is because I actually have been very, like, pretty stressed out about all the other things in life, and then adding YouTube on there makes it kind of a challenge. I still want to do it, and I still love doing it, but it's been a challenge. Hasn't it? It's been a challenge for me and you both, right? Yeah. Funny bunny. Funny bunny. Anyway. So, moving on to life experiences. So basically, I'll be posting when I feel like it, but I won't be too long. I have a lot of backup content already, and I just need to edit it in something that I want to watch. I have like five and a half hours of me and Elijah working on a project. How do you edit that down into something that you can both put all the pieces in there and tell the story? And the best way for me to do that is to make the whole thing a 12 minute video or 15 minute video or 20 minute video five and a half hours condensed down to that short time is really difficult but I could do a voiceover and express my feelings but what I really want is to express those videos as they were recorded so I might make a short out of that not a short but a shorter video and then a long drawn out like every weekend I could post for months okay and I and I actually like doing that because I enjoy the adventure the story the end result is what people want to see within three minutes of watching a video. That's just not my videos. And expressing it in a way that's really thought out and entertaining, even in a 15 minute video, is also what people want. Dude, you're making my nose itch, all your hair flying off. All your hair flying off. 
This is hilarious. This little guy is so funny. Aren't you? Aren't you? Anyway, sorry. It's always going to be a distraction, but I love holding my bunny. So anyway, that's YouTube. So let's talk about life. Um, the first part of this year was very stressful. At work, I built a thing for the last four years, and we're just like launching this thing into the field, and we had some problems with it. It was just stressing me out. Eventually, I'll show you what that is. We're not quite there, but eventually I'll show you. Um, it's kind of one of the things I've been excited about showing you, but haven't been able to. Anyway, you'll like it when you see it, and you'll see it eventually. Um, but it just, I had a really like hard time in life, and uh, we were in a small group with some of the guys that, or some of the, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, 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 okay. I'll put you down, but don't jump out of my hands. He gets into like a trance, and then he kind of freaks out. You're okay. I'll put you down. There you go. Go eat some food. Okay, anyway, so I've been stressed out and tired and exhausted. That's about as normal as he lasts. Kind of, he's in a trance, man. He like flips there, as you can see. Anyway, so life is what it is. It's been a very like stressful time, and uh, me and my his hair, <laughs> me and my wife was in a small group. And we moved on to doing a couple of other things, and we, we didn't do that. And so I realized over time that, like, I wasn't quite getting the same sort of spiritual interaction that I normally get. And kind of put me in a sour p place, and it's just part of life. But it, I was just kind of stressed out, exhausted, and tired, and overwhelmed. And then I didn't have that, which is important in my life, as you guys know. I, I tell you to read the Bible more at the end of all my videos, because I mean it. Um, it's the thing that helps me get through life. Obviously, I do it with me and my wife, my family. You know, if you're doing it by yourself, it's not quite as, um, it's still very helpful, but, you know, having the routine with people, friends, and someone to do that with is very important, okay? That's just the way it is. I get it. Eventually, I'll change your battery out. So, at the end of the day, that first part of this month, or this, this whole year has just been, like, exhausting. So, I'm going to post videos at a different schedule that'll help me with that part of my life. I've actually been working really hard to get my positivity back. Most people don't know this, but a part of that comment I mentioned earlier is that I have been, uh, or one of the people that left a comment, I expressed to them that I'm kind of working like two full-time engineering jobs, which leaves no room for expressing my self in a creative way because I'm, dr I'm creatively drained. And there are other people out there that recognize this, that are in the same boat as me, that realize these things. They have the same situations. And through that, like, discussions, which is why I like my comments, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, no wonder I can't do it. I really want to make these awesome videos because I'm, I'm, I'm burned out at the end of the day. Not with YouTube, but with my normal day job stuff. And then finding time with family. And it's been really interesting. I've been trying to... I've been trying to do more of what they want to do and spend time with them that way. I sometimes bring them into my world and let them help me do stuff. Um, but it's really hard to keep that family life work balance, especially when I'm the only source of income and I have seven people in my household, five children, myself and my wife, and my little bunny and a few others. Um, but that's a big responsibility. Hey, don't knock the camera over. <laughs> don't eat my grass either. Here's a piece of wood. There you go. He likes picking at my grass in my garage here. He don't eat it, but he likes picking at it. So anyway, it's just been a lot. And um, I appreciate you guys that watch these videos. You know, every year or half a year or two years, I post a video like this where I'm just thanking you guys for being here. Because, to be fair, if I just posted a video and nobody watched it, that would suck. And I actually really like the feedback. I really like the positive and negative criticism. I really enjoy the conversations that happen down there. I need to sometimes do that more often. I dropped off a few conversations I was going to finish. One uh, about flying airplanes and then the last comment I just talked about with people posting things. Um, yeah, back to that real quick. Everybody else that he mentioned that I actually just watch as a YouTube, you know, they do that stuff full time. And I am doing it not like that. I'm doing it after my two jobs, after trying to spend family time, after enjoying my day, yeah, it doesn't work. But I think I did that a long time ago in a manner that was really nice, and I was just ahead of my time, I think. Anyway, 
So yeah, life's been, life's been tricky for me, and don't feel bad for me, it's just life. I've, I've actually been doing really well recently because I realized what I was missing. I was kind of spiritually starved for the, the type of interactions that I normally had and then kind of lost for a couple months. And then all the other stuff on top of that, and it, it, uh, it does really help to have people around you. And um, if you don't have anybody around you, you probably kind of feel what I'm feeling. Find a local church, try to get involved, try a couple different churches, and, and those people will care for you. They care, about, they care about you, at least they do at my church, and they want you to... Um, they want you to grow in a way that is helpful, and also um, just realizing that there's other people struggling with you, going through things in life, is really important. Anyway... Enough about that. What else do I have to say? Not a whole lot. I just kind of wanted to tell you guys how I felt about the YouTube and how I felt like recently in life. It's been pretty rough. Um, also, I would like to ask some questions. So one of the questions I would like for you guys to do, to discuss down in the comments is uh, what you guys think about RC stuff. RC stuff is a niche. Um, a lot of people enjoy it. A lot of people like it, but I've been posting quite a bit of videos on it because that's what I've been doing. Um, as an example, here's a box of gear I took to the park today. It has uh, some mini devices. This which you'll see in a video soon that I built from scratch. Transmitters, receivers, batteries, things, stuff. Built a big battery pack for this guy. I haven't charged it in like three months. Anyway. I have a lot of this content and I do want to publish it and I know like some of you guys don't really care. but it's about the experience, it's about spending time with my kids, it's about um, teaching my kids about RC stuff, it's about hanging out with people at the field who I enjoy talking to and give me some positivity and I I really enjoy that um, time over there that I spend with those people. There are a bunch of really old farts who act like children, but they're like 60, 50, 70, 80, but they're a bunch of kids. You guys, if you're old and you don't have any friends that act like you if you're childlike, like me and I'll always be that way, go to the RC Fly Field and all those older people are just a bunch of kids. Hi. Anyway, so I enjoy it. I've, I've really enjoyed it. I've been trying to spend more time doing that. Bear Bear, he comes out here and just hangs out. Look at him. He's over there now. I could probably hold him again, but I'll leave him alone. Anyway, 12 minutes. All right, I'm going to call it here. I don't really have much else to say. I just wanted to express my thoughts, let you guys know how I was feeling. I've got tons of stuff I want to do, tons of stuff I'd like to do. Here's something that I've been working on. If any of you know what this is, where it goes, and what I think I'm going to do, not necessarily with this, I have an idea. i got to get that done soon. For, for, for that reason. Uh, you'll see. I'm making a making a really cool thing that I'm really excited about. That I told myself I was going to do for the last year and just now starting. Something's clicking over there. Anyway, I'm going to let this video run out. I will go back and read some comments that from last week's uh, video because I think it's always important that I do that. I actually really enjoy that. So leave me some discussion points down there. You know, you got some thoughts of your own, great. Leave them down there in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know uh, if you've had experiences like this and how you got through them. My experience right now is just I hit some really low lows in my life and I struggled really hard the last couple months from work and family and other things I want to do. I don't have time to, time to do and like prioritizing and like um, well-being, mental health, um, spiritual health, like there are an endless list of things that I've been struggling with for the last few months and I'm like coming out of it um, and so with that positive thinking attitude I'm just cutting things that I need to cut focusing on other things I need to focus on and putting my priorities in a different manner so you'll see videos when you get them and they're still gonna be probably what they used to be they just are my videos because I enjoy making them for you <sighs> alright God bless peace out as always, read the Bible more. Help me through all of my struggles. Never has failed me. So I share it where I can. So, you know, need some help there? Reach out, let me know. Maybe we can start a small group together. Honestly, I don't know. I'm looking I'm looking for uh 
I'm looking for some uh, positive input in that side of my world, and I'm excited about it. Anyway, God bless you guys. Have a good day. This is Russ signing out for the day. I got a lot of content, so let me know what you want me to post. I got a lot of RC content. This month is going to be busy, but I'll be editing slowly after this month. I got lots of stuff to share with you guys. Some pretty cool experiences. I have a bag of parts that I've been 3D printing and modeling from scratch. I've also had a few crashes. <laughs> Peace. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Bear. Say bye bye. My name's Eeyore. Hello. Hello. Okay, I know. I know. You ready? Don't run away. Don't run away. Don't run away. Watch this. If you push his face all the way down, he'll just sit there. No, you ain't gonna do it today. That's cool. You just have a good day, boy. See ya. Look at all this mess. <laughs> Oh, I told you guys I was going to give you a shop tour, and I still want to. Um, so, I made this rack. It's pretty nice. If you do want a shop tour, I'll do that as my next video. Someone gave me this today. I know I have too many already, but anyway. Peace and love. God bless. Bye-bye. Oh, let's see if this thing works. It's always jumpy at the beginning. <laughs> okay. Oh, anyway. See where we're at. Alright. Couple things. Here we go. This isn't the last video. Participating is a great learning tool, and he now looks uh, and now hooked on stuff like this the rest of his life. Actually, he loves it. It's pretty cool. Nice flying there, guys. Thank you. He actually flew amazing. Incredible aerial footage. So, Rick, there's a bunch of really cool GoPro version videos if you scan through my content. You might like it. This being onboard uh, transmitted live analog video. Oh yeah, I uninstalled that. Um, kind of sucks actually. So you should you might like those more. Awesome pilot. Please never allow him to drive a taxi. Or him or Lily. They're both crazy. So I guess next the next thirty. I guess start over. So I guess. The next 30 minutes, I'm going to be wondering what audio means. And then possibly still have to look it up myself. Funny enough, he went upstairs after that and looked it up. Uh, he grabbed his... He's got an iPod... Uh, an iP not an iPhone, but a... Uh, iPod. And he can do voice and look it up. It was hilarious. He was like, I figured it out. I, I, I was actually kind of rude at that moment, but it was, it was just me being me. I was like, really... Pretty sure I taught you this. Anyway, it was funny. Um, oh yeah. I think we all had those moments. At least he's honest about it. True statement. Yeah, that was actually pretty funny. I've used that video transmitter in the analog times. So it was a pretty powerful and reliable. I remember crashing one of my drones into the mud. Didn't manage to find it and had to give up. We had a rainstorm the entire night. The next morning, I had a text message on my phone from a, uh, from a stranger who had found it and dropped it off so I could take it home. Had my number on the drone. Good idea. I should probably start doing that on mine. Of course, the LiPo was at zero, zero volts, but the entire thing was covered in mud. Uh, by then, the entire and the entire thing was covered in mud, but after cleaning it and attaching a new battery, it worked flawlessly despite having spent the night in a muddy puddle of transmitting at 800 watts. Yeah, that's actually really surprising. I guess the mud isn't quite as bad as like if it was in pure water. I recommend sitting down while flying. Agreed. Um, I tried uh, sitting on a swing set once. <laughs> Didn't end well. If you ever get a chance to try digital, you should try it. It's a whole different animal, especially with the recent available 1080p streaming. Um, so actually, the... Um, HD Zero looks like a good piece of kit. I don't really want to do DJI, but the HD Zero looks like a good piece of kit. I think I might go that route um, if I went that route. I don't have money to spend on Google's or transmitters right now. I'm going old school analog stuff I can find for cheap and free sometimes. Um, but yes, I actually have a friend who has digital. I might try his out. He was saying it's so realistic that you almost get distracted. Um, 
from all the things happening around it because it's so clear. But I would like to try it. Great flying from both of you. I totally understand your enthusiasm for FPV experience, especially the comment about the shaky legs. It's just something different. It's like taking the same thing you already know how to do and just turning it into something more interesting. So now you have two options. You could fly third party from away. You could put the camera on the back of the plane and like fly third party on the plane. Or you could put it in the cockpit or in the front. Like, it just kind of broadens your horizons on the possibilities. Because you can't, you can't fly a small drone, you know, this size. Yes, that's still beeping. Um, through the house without standing behind it. And if you start doing flips and stuff, you have no idea where you're at. So being on it is like pretty cool. And Thomas, as always. All right, peace, love you guys. Have a good night. Oh, actually, sorry, I have one more. I say good night because it's late here. I have one more um, comment, which is do 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 this one. So it was funny. You guys, um, how can I just view this? There you go. So I posted this. Seventeen votes. I had oh, there's an, somebody else just voted. Literally, like just voted. Maybe I clicked it. There was only 16 a minute ago. Maybe not. Anyway, I can do a live stream if you want me to. But it was funny. I posted that and like it was like no, don't post it all today. I don't care. And then eventually, some few people said yes, which I thought was funny. It didn't really bother me. I just thought it was funny. Um, but I, what I want to read is this comment. This comment's the one that I was talking about today. Um, and I think I want to read about it because this part of this video is kind of what it was. So. Side 85 Winder says, I like your old videos of making things and inventing stuff or improving something. The Impella duplicator was good, but it was very scattered uh, and loads of sidetracking stuff in each video that made them very long and uh, unrelated to the to the heading. 100% agreed. And I said, this is, fan uh, this is a fantastic comment. First, thanks for being honest. Second, or two, um... You described the prop making project to a T. The end was totally chaos. I was on a tight time crunch to complete, and that's exactly how the video came out. Which is funny, because that's exactly the way it was recorded, and that's exactly what he said. Um, quote, loads of sidetrack stuff in each video that made them very long and unrelated to the heading. Yeah, it's funny, this is exactly how my life feels at the moment. It's what this video we just kind of talked about. This been in disrepair for a while. So it's good that the videos reflect the same. That's right. And fourth, yeah, back to when I had more time to be creative. Currently I work, work two full-time engineering jobs. Drains a lot of my creativity, which I just talked about. So my whole life is uh, just trying to recover. Hence, no video this week. Thanks for the comment. I greatly appreciate the comment. Blessings. Um, cheers. I used to love the PWM build-off stuff too. Um, which is supposed to be well, it could be PWM, but... Uh, anyway. Something about seeing a ball bearing spin at 500,000 RPM was exciting stuff. For uh, for YouTubers who... Uh, for YouTubers... Oh, few YouTubers have a good formula for making content on a build. Um, their names there. I got their... If I got their names right, they have a, a good idea. Building things, video, document, the changes, challenges. I can't read right now. I'm falling asleep. They have a good. They have an idea. Build the thing. Video document the ch uh, challenges. Uh, try to reach an end product the best they can. Um, and then your building skills are amazing. Keep up making stuff. Keep the make. Keep up making stuff. Thumbs up. I appreciate that. It's fun because a lot of people have told me that they actually enjoy watching me solve the problem and showing the way I solve the problem. I love making content like that. Um, like I said, my creativity has been kind of on the low end, although I have been making stuff like this, which you'll see sooner than later, trying some ideas. But that video, is, I, can, I can draw that out for hours and hours because that's how much video footage I got. But I can, I'm going to build it into a story, and then I'll post the long version also. Um, anyway, I'll read you my comments since we're here. 100% too funny. This is exactly the thought process, and I agree with you. Uh, I think years back when I was doing things like that, I was just too far ahead of the times. I think so. 
YouTube just wasn't what it was, what it is. I think I could have probably done things full time and launched the crazy stuff and done a lot of cool stuff. I had the motivation, I can tell you that. Um, and I got up pretty far in my career, and actually, what I'm doing now kind of landed me here because of all the things that I did. So, anyway. Um, it's also important to note that a lot of YouTubers, as the ones you noted, and I watch them all, I watch them all, I watch a lot of YouTube content because I enjoy it just as much as anyone else. To my knowledge, they make videos full time and they also take hundreds of hours to make the videos uh, once a month, sometimes twice a week or, or twice a month or whatever. If I did that, it would take three to six months, so two videos a year. Because if I went through the whole thing without showing you, quiet, if I went through the whole thing without showing you what I did, it would take that long, which kind of sucks. Um, so I just rather just post what I have recorded and let you guys enjoy that. Um, although I would like to make the different content more story streamed because I think it is fun. Um, nonetheless, great conversation. Much love to you and yours one day at a time. P.S. I do draw out my videos as I like to have the entire struggle there in there. Not just the overview story. But that's just that's just the way people like them and I agree that this is a good way to do it. Anyway, totally. I talked about this at the beginning of the video so I won't say anything too much else but yeah, peace and love. God bless you guys. Have a good day. Bye. Beep, beep, boop, boop.